Friends, we are due to meet for the next edition of spring in December. This is a good time to prepare ourselves for that meet, to understand a few things beforehand, so that when we meet, our interactions lead up to something better. Markets are cyclical. We all know it. Yet, most of us tend to think of entering stock market only at cyclical highs. This is not wrong. But when the market oscillates from a cyclical high to a cyclical low, what we do with ourselves and with our investments will determine whether we are going to achieve anything at all. Think big. This was an idea I seeded during our first meeting. I continue to focus on this idea because your thoughts and how you approach your thoughts is what is going to determine what you can achieve in the future. If you think big, it does not mean that you are going to act very fast, make decisions in haste or try to achieve things too soon. When I say think big, it means that you appreciate the cyclicality in markets, the long wait and the opportunity that gets thrown at all of us during this long wait when the cycles take the economy and the markets lower. Probably a bull market is a time when we start thinking big because we see what the big thinking from the past has turned out to be. Even the big thinking in a bull market can be turned into your advantage in the subsequent bear phase when markets fall. It depends on how you understand cyclicality, how you choose to profit from cyclicality, how you manage your decisions during cyclicality and how you turn cyclicality into a friend. The bad time is when one should translate big thinking into several small actions. We need to do many things consistently, sustainably, repetitively and convincingly. What happens really during bad times is going to determine the outcome of our investing. If one is able to behave even better in bad times than in good times, that is really what big thinking must translate into. There will be mistakes from a bull market which will stare at us in a bear market. When markets fall, decisions from more optimistic days can look awful. One must learn to deal with those mistakes and make better decisions during bad times. It is virtually impossible to avoid mistakes. The only thing that one can do with mistakes is deal with them, deal positively and move on. Importantly, while one might have started a hobbyist approach to investing in a bull market, when the markets fall, one must refine that approach grow the approach, grow better investment ideas and grow 
one's investment in those ideas. It is hard to find money in difficult times, but difficult times also give us the opportunity to make every rupee we invest count. In bull markets, we think making money is easy and we deploy money in a manner in which we put ourselves to future risk. This is something that we can definitely avoid in bear markets. This is how one must translate his intention to think big into measurable, decisive and positive actions. While there is no perfect time to blood ambition, the best time to grow one's efforts is when there is blood on the streets. The present is probably a phase when one should show courage, conviction and character and think big for the future. Wish you all the best and see you at spring.